All right, everybody, I think we are live. I wanted to just kind of do this update uh, for everybody that's been sending me messages on Facebook, Instagram, everywhere else in my inbox. I've gotten like two or 300 the last two days asking if I'm okay. These videos serve as the answers to those. I'm just gonna skip by those because there's just so many of them, guys. Um, but yeah, so current state right now, you guys can see right there. That is our water line right, if I can get on camera there. Yes, that's a blood blister. That's the primary arms Cyclops, <laughs> still going strong. And uh, we'll kind of scroll around there. I know a lot of people were asking about that house over there. As you guys can see, the water just crested that first floor. This house right here is underwater. And then this house right here is also underwater, unfortunately. So there's sort of my fence line, those trees right there. Those are the trees that are typically in the uh, light reviews. And you guys can see there's a bunch of them that have already fallen down in the water there. Uh, unfortunately, they're saying uh, here in Eastern uh, Carolina, we're gonna get some more water rising. So that kind of sucks. But basically, let me come around here for you. I think I can get on camera. Um, basically, so from where the water is right now to, so, so my house, it's a, it's a two story house technically but we really don't have two stories, traditionally speaking, if you will. So we have like my garage level, uh, it's kind of down here, which is also where my main living room is. And then the rest of the first floor is like this. There's about an 18 inch drop. Uh, it's like a drop floor down to one room there. And everything else is about 18 inches. And then of course we have the second floor. Um, so uh, basically the 18 inch mark down here, um, I just took a, I went out there in it, measured it, and uh, we got about three and a half feet. Um, so if it goes up about three and a half feet, it's gonna go on the first floor, so that sucks. But <laughs> hopefully it doesn't do it. Um, I did everything I can do in terms of preparation. Um, I shut all my outside electronics off in case we get power, so that way it doesn't trip anything. Um, should the power come on and it be underwater. Um, and my air conditioners as well, again, they're not working. But if they did, I, drew, I dug slip trenches for them. Uh, to make sure they don't get submerged. Uh, during Matthew, they got submerged. Uh, so they might still get submerged, but hopefully the slit trench gives them a little bit uh, of room for air. That's pretty much it, guys. We're just holding it out here. Dogs are inside. They just ate dinner. They're sleeping, so they're good. I'm looking at one of them right now in the window looking at me, snoozing. Anyway, that's it, guys. That's the update. Again, no need to send me messages. I'm doing fine. I'll be fine. Thanks.